Hi, in this video I will explain how parameter binding works with XData and I will use the recent feature called Swagger UI to show it how it works. Let me create a new project here and I will start with a new XData server by adding a Sparkle dispatcher and an XData server components. To create the XData server is very straightforward. I connect the XData server to the dispatcher. I will choose a base URL and I will create some server side methods here using the wizard TMSX data, new TMSX data service. I will create the sample method so I can use it. And here I have the default ones, which is the, example, the sample methods, which are sum and echo string. And I will do the. I will enable Swagger. I will choose the X Data Server here, and I will use the new option Swagger UI options, and check enabled for both Swagger and Swagger UI. And let's run the application. With this new feature Swagger UI, I can connect to the server server base URL which is localhost slash TMS slash X data and then I have this new address new endpoint sw uh, slash swagger UI and it will display oh, okay I forgot the basic thing here which is enable the server of course let's enable the dispatcher here and then run it again and now the Swagger UI is available. Here I can have a, a quick look of the actions, the endpoints that I have in my server and I can also test it. So for example, here we can understand the binding. The, if I go to service here, we'll see that the sum function is listening to a get request and the address is slash my service slash sum. If I try it out here and pass some parameters like 5 and 3 to execute, we see that the result is OK, its value is 7. And here is how the method should be invoked from the HTTP request. Since it's a GET request, by default the parameters are bound to the query string. So you have slash my service slash sum question mark a equals 5 and b equals 2 here's how the parameters should be sent this way uh, if I change if I go back to my server and change the method to post or simply remove this because the default it's HTTP post is the same and I run again refresh the page and I will see that slash my service slash sum should be invoked now with post request and note that Swagger UI already the specification changes and it knows now that I should send the parameters in the request body as a JSON request as a JSON object where the values of the parameters should be properties of that JSON request so 7 and 3 here for A and B. If I execute, I see the correct value 10. And we see that the request is now a POST request. Swagger UI show you, alternatively shows you the full request here. So it's a POST request to the slash my service slash sum. And we send an application JSON content, which is the JSON object that I created here. And there is a so you note, notice that the we have two bi different bindings here, which is from query, which is the default for get get requests, and you have from body, which is the default for post re for non get requests actually for post and delete and all other HTTP methods. And we have a third option which is from path 
if I run here, you understand how it works. The, the parameters will come from the path segments. You can see now that the endpoint is now slash my services slash sum slash a and b. So if I try it out here with the Swagger UI, I can set some parameters here, 3 and 9, execute. We see the value 12, and this is how the request should be done now. The parameters should be passed in the URL. So slash sum slash 3 slash 9. So that, those are the three different parameter bindings that you can choose as you want, as you wish, to proper, properly build the endpoint and how you receive the parameters. If you are using XData clients or XData web clients for TMS Web Core, you don't have to worry about how to request, how to perform the request. The client will do that for you. You just need to invoke some method and pass the parameters, but this is useful if you access the, your XData API server from other types of platforms like Angular or React or any other uh, tool that perform HTTP requests and you want to know, you want to change and configure the way the, the parameters are sent. As I explained it, you can change the way uh, the parameters, uh, you can mix all the, the ways you pass the parameters. So for example, I can say that parameter B will come from query and uh, we can add C and D and say that parameter D will come from path again. And the path parameters are received in the order they are declared. And I can say that C comes from body. All right. Uh, I can I cannot I do not need to add from body because it's the default for non-get requests. Then I can just change my implementation here. Let's do a sum of all parameters. and refresh and we see that the endpoint will be slash my services slash sum slash and the parameter a and d will be received from from here the parameter c will come from a json object and the parameter d will be in the query string let's illustrate here one two three and four for A, B, C and D parameters. Execute. And we have now, here's how we invoke the request. We have a post request to address sum slash my services slash sum slash one slash four, which is D parameter, question mark B equals two. And then we send a JSON with this C equals three in the JSON and value is 10. So I hope it uh, it clarifies how to use parameter binding with XData. This is a recent addition. Also how to use Swagger UI, which is a great tool, a great addition for your API. You just enable it and it's available from the API. You can test and uh, do a lot of things with it. For example, you can also enable authentication mode this will allow you to add a header json web token here in case your api is protected so you can test your api here by passing the token and that this can be configured from here as well from the component you have an x data server here you have swagger options and you can set authentication mode to JSON web token and uh, there are other options here also for Swagger UI options. All right I hope you have uh, enjoyed the video understood what uh, how parameter binding works and don't forget don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive notifications about upcoming videos. Thank you.